Another day, another slew of articles and praise for Chiefs rookie wide receiver Xavier Worthy. We're going to go over an article about Xavier Worthy, extolling Xavier Worthy perhaps, an article that is diving into what it is that Xavier Worthy has done for the Kansas City Chiefs offense. And then I've got some stats that I sort of mathed together earlier this summer asking the question, what would Xavier Worthy have to do to win Rookie of the Year? And we will end the video with those stats because I think that they are Xavier Worthy is making a compelling case for himself through just one week of this regular season. So, uh, without further ado, guys, if you, maybe I should have said this before saying without further ado, but if you find yourself here by chance but not designed, the Chiefs are the only thing I talk about on the channel, dropping multiple videos every single week daily, Chiefs news, analysis, and opinions, so consider hitting the subscribe button. And if you want to help me out with what I do here, hitting the like button really does help me out, as it tells YouTube to share this video with other Kansas City Chiefs fans. We will start right here with an article titled NFL Rookie Rankings, Xavier Worthy Top Performers After 2024 Week 1 by Brent Sobleski. Uh, I believe this is on Barstool Sports. The entry on Xavier Worthy, you can see right here, ranked him as the number one rookie of the first week of the NFL season. And it said this, quote, Wide receiver Xavier Worthy, Kansas City Chiefs, the common refrain after seeing Xavier Worthy score two touchdowns in his NFL debut went as follows. How could the NFL allow the Kansas City Chiefs to draft the fastest player in combine history? Chiefs head coach Andy Reid kept his answer rather simple when reporters asked about his rookie wide receiver. He can run. Take note, NFL, NFL defensive coordinators. Reed's response may have been simple, but it speaks volumes. He knows exactly what he has in Worthy. The Texas product wowed everyone at this year's combine when he broke the record with a 4-2-1 second 40-yard dash. Anyone who watched him during his collegiate career understood that he's not just a straight-line speedster. His, his first score came during an end around when he got behind a blocking convoy and then turned on the Jets for a 21-yard touchdown. Two quarters later, he blew by the Baltimore Ravens secondary and caught a 35-yard scoring pass. This year's 28th overall pick provided 68 yards from scrimmage and two scores. He's not going to serve as the Chiefs' top target. As a weird tone there. Tight end Travis Kelsey and fellow wide receiver Rashi Rice are quarterback Patrick Mahomes' preferred targets. However, Worthy provides a similar dynamic that has been missing since Tyreek Hill left. Another strange sentence. The Chiefs are already back-to-back -back Super Bowl champs. Worthy makes that offense even more potent as Kansas City attempts to achieve the league's first ever three-peat. Yes, that is true, but it's still rather generic. What exactly was it that, Raj, that Xavier Worthy did to garner this paragraph here talking about the 21-yard touchdown and the 35-yard touchdown. Well, luckily, we get a little bit of clarity from Ron Kopp at Arrowhead Pride in an article titled, Xavier Worthy's Debut for the Chiefs Went Deeper Than His Two Touchdowns. Subtitled, The Rookie Had Two Memorable Highlights, But There Was More to Be Excited About From His First Game. Cop opens the article like this. The Chiefs offense averaged a league high 7.1 yards per pass play. Not per completion. 7.1 yards per pass play. And also tied two teams for first downs by passing. 15. What a coinkadink. The production occurred despite wide receiver Hollywood Brown being sidelined. A detail that is not getting anywhere near the attention that it deserves from the NFL community, because I think there is, I think a large percentage of NFL fans is still reticent to sort of acknowledge the fact, yeah, this could happen. 
the Chiefs really could win three in a row. It could happen. Hollywood Brown being on the sidelines during a performance which saw the Kansas City Chiefs look their old selves versus foe and rival Baltimore, which had the NFL's best defense last season. The Chiefs returning to form in week one against that defense, which in a game where they were still hamstrung, is terrifying. Rookie wide receiver Xavier Worthy produced 68 total yards and two touchdowns against the Baltimore Ravens, but he contributed much more over the 34 snaps that he played on offense. Now, the article, which you should definitely go check out, should definitely go read, has some highlights involved linked through Twitter slash X. The main takeaways, in my opinion, from those highlights are twofold. One, much of the space in the middle of the field where Rashi Rice was eating all night long was manufactured by Xavier Worthy clearing out the safeties. That speed had to be respected. It's the, and I understand if you are questioning, well, Marquez Valdez-Scantling is a very fast guy. I think had a 4-3-4 40-yard dash, if I'm not mistaken, something like that. Why was the middle of the field not cleared out? last year? Well, because no one respected him. He was not going to get open. He was not going to make the catch. He was not going, he was certainly not a run after the catch danger, right? He was not a threat to take the ball the distance if the ball was in his hands. Xavier Worthy, through all intents and purposes, seems to be that guy. The NFL now has is on notice that, yeah, he can run with the ball in his hands. Yeah, he can get open. Yes, he will make the catch. That pass that was intended for Xavier Worthy in the end zone, which was almost an interception, That even that play, even that play should absolutely terrify NFL defenses because Xavier Worthy was not hit on that play. Patrick Mahomes threw a very bad pass, a very ill-advised ball, and it was almost intercepted, and Xavier Worthy still got his hands on it. I think part of that is that Xavier Worthy is deceptively big. He's slight, but he is six foot. He's, he's skinny, but he's not small. So even him being able to reach back and break that pass up is something that, look, you, you wouldn't have seen Marquez Valdez-Scantling do that. So NFL defenses, NFL defensive coordinators, safeties around the league, no, they have to respect that speed. The other thing that became apparent through Ron Kopp's article is this. Worthy's speed makes him a real danger in crossing routes. That's because the, the pass-off between zones is not expected to happen as fast as it as soon as it has to happen with a player like Xavier Worthy on the field. Defenders expect that they have a little bit of time to assess the field and who is running what route, but when Xavier Worthy is utilizing that 4 one speed across the field, you do not get the opportunity to understand that a player could be coming from your blind side while you're still watching the player which is in your zone currently. Further, so let me get back in. One thing... Let's say that this is one guy's zone on an NFL defense. Yellow. Then you've got the guy in the middle of the field. Maybe that's a linebacker. Maybe that's a safety. Do what I'm telling you, Microsoft. And that is, oh no, that's a green zone. He has the middle of the field. That is green. And then the right side of the field here is is pink. This guy who's covering the pink section of the field does not expect a player to come from the yellow section of the field. 
He expects a player to come from the pink section of the field or possibly the green section of the field. Xavier Worthy is fast enough to cross across to run through the entirety of the field and thus go across three separate zones in one play. That's the type of player that you do not end up accounting for in a zone, and because of that, he can go running absolutely completely free. So that's in zone. Do you trust anyone on your defense in man coverage against a guy who runs a 42140? A lot so a lot of crossing routes are designed for zone because there are holes in zone defenses. The quarterback knows this, the wide receiver can read this. That's where Travis Kelsey has made a whole lot of noise in the NFL is sitting down in zones. He knows what the defense is trying to do and he takes advantage of it. Xavier Worthy's speed and look a lot of the reason I didn't talk about this earlier, you, you haven't seen it on an NFL field, but now you have. Xavier Worthy's speed makes him defense agnostic, makes him zone slash man agnostic. Do you want to play man against a guy who runs 4 to one Absolutely not. If he gets one step on you, he'll have three, four, and five steps on you very quickly. You cannot make a living in the NFL covering a guy like Xavier Worthy on deep routes, one-on-one. -on -one. Not advisable. So, would you rather play zone against him? Well, you think so. But a guy with that type of speed, A, like we saw against the Ravens, opens up zones underneath because both safeties are backpedaling to respect the fact that he could run a he could run a go route or he could run a post route. If he runs a post route, he's not in the free safeties zone anymore. He's in the strong safeties zone now. So he has to be back deep enough to cover that. So his speed makes him equally dangerous versus zone and man coverages. You see this sometimes with players that have unique body size ratios. You see this with the very tall wide receivers who have good speed. They don't have to have great speed, but if they're a very big guy with good speed, how are you going to cover Mike Evans? You, you, Cover him with your best corner in man. He's bigger than that guy. You trust your defense in zone. And, well, if you have a five foot nine safety, all I have to do is understand what the zone is. And all of a sudden, he's man up with Mike Evans. Because a defender, a defender does not cover grass. He covers the guys. So the guys that are in his zone. So... If a guy's in your zone, you're man up on him. So everybody's man up all the time. It just depends on where. So I asked the question earlier this summer, what would it take for Xavier Worthy to win the Rookie of the Year prize? Here's what we saw were the average seasons of the last five wide receivers to win Rookie of the Year. The average Rookie of the Year wide receiver was 83 receptions, 1,206 yards, and nine touchdowns. The average game stretched out over 17 because we have one more game than many of those rookie wide receivers played. Five receptions, 71 yards, and .53 touchdowns. Now, one thing that will stand out, there's not any room here for rushing statistics. Most of these wide receivers were not impressive running the ball. Most of these wide receivers did not get carries regularly. Xavier Worthy will. One of these wide receivers, a guy who brought the average down quite a bit, was also a return game stud. So those stats were factored in for him, but I didn't factor in the average special teams contribution because you would be dividing that number by five when really it was just one guy who did it. So 
what we see here is that Xavier Worthy is a little bit behind the five receptions, 71-yard average with two receptions, 47 yards. But when you add his carry for 21 yards, it becomes three touches for 68 yards, which is very close to five touches for 71 yards. I think, maybe I'm wrong, two receptions for 47 yards might be the floor on what we see Xavier Worthy do on a regular basis for the Kansas City Chiefs. But the other thing that you have to take into account, Xavier Worthy already has two touchdowns. The entire season for the average rookie of the year wide receiver was nine touchdowns. Xavier Worthy is nearly a quarter of the way through the touchdown production of most of these Rookie of the Year wide receivers through just one game. Now, another thing that is interesting to take into account, and this isn't, I mean, certainly not going to be taken into account for the, not by the stat, for the Rookie of the Year process, rating when targeted. But, Rating when targeted tells you that A, this is an effective player, and B, this player is likely to get a lot more looks in the future. Xavier Worthy has a rating when targeted right now through just one game of 149.3. The perfect passer rating is 158.3. I think it's 0.6, actually. That might be a typo. I think it's 158.6. So basically, nine points away from a perfect rating when targeted. Had he had just one more reception, that would have gone through the roof. Had he caught that pass in the end zone that was nearly intercepted, that would have been through the roof. It would have been a 158.6 passer rating, I guarantee you, uh, on the stat sheet. Now, One of the other things that was interesting from the article by Ron Kopp is that there were several opportunities left on the field. One was that nearly intercepted ball in the end zone. Xavier Worthy did get an entire palm on that ball. If Patrick, and he was open, that's the big deal. Patrick Mahomes was flushed out of the pocket. He made a rare misfire. If Patrick Mahomes had a half second longer, a quarter second longer to plant his feet and throw, that would have been another touchdown. There was also an opportunity where Xavier Worthy was running a decoy route down the sideline. He was a guy that was just supposed to be clearing out the defenders, and he was wide open and would have been it would have been a 40-yard touchdown or wherever they were on the field if Mahomes had just lofted it up there, but he wasn't even a read on the play. Another opportunity that was um, missed on the football field was Xavier Worthy on a crossing route, and Mahomes was again forced out of the pocket and did not read Worthy on the route. And it would have been like that Samaj P. Ryan play where it was just open daylight ahead of him. He would have had some work to do, but he would have been there. So taking into account these statistics, the average w- rookie of the year wide receiver has 83 receptions, 1,206 yards, and nine touchdowns. The average rookie of the year wide receiver game is five receptions, 71 yards, and a little over a half a touchdown. Do you think Xavier Worthy can get there in this season? The I think the answer is clearly and obviously yes. The bigger answer, how the bigger question, however, might be this: Are there any other wide receivers in this class that will outshine Xavier Worthy? Well, to bring this full circle. If we go all the way back up here where we started this video, according to Brent Sobleski of Barstool Sports, 
Xavier Worthy was the number one most impressive rookie in the entire NFL in week one. And guys, who am I to argue? If you like this sort of thing, hitting the like button really does help me out as it tells YouTube to share this video with other Chiefs fans. If you find yourself here by chance but not designed, the Chiefs are the only thing I talk about on this channel, dropping daily Chiefs content, news analysis, and opinion. So consider hitting that subscribe button, stick around for more. And as always, I hope to have you back for the next one.